here and now, here where we are. And where are we? We are in the United States with Steve. And uh, Dunya is in France, avec les Français. France, the big France there, the former imperial power, which is not so big anymore. And uh, the United States, which is not as strong as it used to be, but it has got an immense supply of bombs to drop on Gaza. Incredible. And now I'm very concerned, you know, with 300,000 of the Palestinians who are living there in the north, who are under siege in a siege, and, uh, and they're been completely cut off from all provisions, and they're being threatened with starvation because they don't want to leave. And of course, if they do leave, they get shot. So this is the uh, ultimate case here now. And I don't see any power moving in to stop this massacre, this genocide, this Holocaust that is imminent and ongoing. So I, I don't, I'm very pessimistic about what is going to be possible here. And I think that they are go going to be dying. Even if Israel, the state of Israel, the Zionist state, the so-called state of Israel, is expelled from the United Nations General Assembly, I think they would still continue with the genocide. So the only way to attack this genocidal Zionist Holocaust is from the inside, I think. I mean, the United States, you know, government can be overthrown, but because both parties, you know, are into uh, supplying Israel with whatever. But the feasible sort of way of dealing with the Zionist dictatorship is to attack it in the Jewish diaspora, in which the Jewish people are subject to uh, ostracization, uh, boycott, and a social alienation, even from their own families, because they dare to criticize the Zionist government, Zionist fascist government. So that has to be reversed. Amongst the young people, it has been, because they go to university and they meet other people, and they see other thoughts. But otherwise, you know, the other generations with the, with the power and the money, they're not letting go. You know, they want to maintain a Zionist dictatorship. And, you know, they will certainly have uh, those who will take care of, this, you know, the, those affairs, um, even against the majority of the Jewish people. So uh, there's got to be another way to deal with it. And, and I think that one avenue that I've outlined previously is that it's like organizations like Jewish Voice for Peace have to move into the American Jewish Congress and to form an opposition there and then change its policies, because that's open to the votes of the general Jewish public and cannot be denied, except that it was here in Canada where it was shut down in spite of uh, my trying to speak against the matter at the plenary. So it's a struggle that we have to undertake, a most difficult struggle, but that's what I'm into. So I think that each of us has our own struggle in which we can contribute to the liberation of Palestinians, but I think that we're in a, in a deficit condition. I think that we're in a very difficult position that's my sort of evaluation of the current state of crises that we are facing. But I'm very pleased that Iran was able to repulse the Zionist attack the other day very successfully. Its self-defense system is uh, superior to that of the Zionist state. <laughs> and now uh, all the Israelis know it too. So what do each of you think you know is uh, our current state of balance of forces that's what we need to be concerned with and what we can do about it yeah steve well i i, I want to hear i want to hear what uh what do you have to say first yes do you what what state of the struggle are we in now, and what can we do about it? Yeah, it's difficult. I still don't need to be uh, I, uh, big in France. It's very difficult because we need to fight against a lot of things, and uh, that uh, when we are not a lot, it's difficult. 
But I believe I have a lot of hope and we do that with the, je sais pas comment on dit en anglais, oui. abnegation, abnegation. We must believe uh, about what we do and about the freedom of Palestine first. Also, if we are uh, pessimists because we see a lot of crime, but we need to see in another way too. But in France, for me, we need to build in all the world, not each one in his way. I don't know if you if you believe. For me, for the Jewish, I believe uh, I believe that they can do something. And in France, in this time, they fight a lot. Uh, there is a new organization. There is uh, the Union, the Jewish for Peace. And they go to the parliament. They go to. They do a lot of meeting, and they they talk. Uh, they, they say that uh, they are against Israel, the state of Israel. They they say that they say that they use our religion. The the they use the Jewish. They use the Muslim. They use it, but it's just political first. The two. Uh, the government make a lot of things to to kill this struggle. So the people, by the by many way, by the money, uh, by uh, by a lot of uh, bad news. Another news: if you see the French TV, you will not never see. You see Netanyahu. You see the way for Israel. So there is some activist. We try a lot, but it's very difficult. For me, I believe to the international solidarity, popular resistance, as we know. And uh, for me, I am ready to, to take another nationality because I have shame and I, I have very shame. I, uh, for me, I am pessimist about the struggle in France. Mm -hmm. okay. But not about the struggle of the world, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. uh, I prefer to leave uh, this country. I will leave soon. Mm -hmm. You know, there is a professor in the university in Toulouse, in the south, and uh, they put him away. They came uh, out of his work because he speak about Palestine. Mm -hmm. They break you everywhere. You go to the police station. I have another friend. She. They want to, to, to make to her uh, 10 years in the jail. They ask, they ask for 10 years in the jail because she talk about Palestine. And we need to fight. As in Palestine, we have two, two, two struggle against Israel and against our government. Mm -hmm. So it's very difficult when you are few people. And in France, we are few people. We are few. It's not enough what they do. Okay, they will do the demonstration, but when they back, they they do a normal life. They don't boycott anything. They why? Mm -hmm. they but what about uh, Insoumise and uh, the New Popular Front? What? Uh, yes. Are, are they uh, are they only centered around Paris and they don't have uh, a presence in the regions of France? Is that the problem? For me, the problem, they try, okay, they try, but uh, when this demonstration finished, they stop. Mm -hmm. You know, if we speak, if I speak about uh, the normalization, the, 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 you know that the, the, they are against this normalization, the Palestinians are against them. We don't do that for, for ourselves. We, we give the message of the Palestinians as they, they teach us to do that. And if I speak about uh, the king of the Maroc, I will have a lot of Moroccan people against me. But it's not me the problem. It's your king, your <laughs> government. And they don't want to uh, agree, you know? Mm -hmm. So it's difficult in France. You, you don't believe how, how it's difficult. That makes me sick. Mm -hmm. So I want to leave. Me, for me, mm -hmm. I want to leave. Okay, in America, they give the bomb, but there is a lot of people do a lot of things. They go to the embassy, they go to the parliament, they will, you, you know what do, uh, Code Pink, mm -hmm. Ariel, Code Pink. 
Mm-hmm. You, you, did you know that pink has teeth? Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Jewish yes. sister. Yes. And I meet her in Birahin in Palestine. And after they prevent her to go back in Palestine. But she's Jewish. Yeah. And I want this travel. I want to see that in France. But I don't see. Uh-huh. So the power is uh, small. Small power here we are. Mm-hmm. They, they, they are afraid of the government, they are afraid to lose them work, they are afraid mm-hmm. of everything. Mm-hmm. And the, the government do that. It's not the because the people, it's because the government. If we do something, you go to the jail. I don't care me to go to the jail, but these people care. Mm-hmm. They care about their life, but they don't understand what they don't understand and if we don't fight against this occupation, against this Zionism, capitalism, imperialism, they will never be free, too. Mm-hmm. So it's the point for me, the Palestine, it's the center of this uh, struggle of the world. Mm-hmm. It's the, 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 the middle. Mm-hmm. The focus, so I, the point of mirror. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yeah. C'est le point de mire, c'est le centre de la, la libération. Tout part de là-bas, tout finira là-bas. It's a center of liberation. Everything starts there and everything finishes there. Yes. Yeah, yeah. this is For... the struggle of our century. Yes, yeah. and the uh, government take these people by the, by the, they are afraid of everything. I have yeah. my children, I have my work, I have, I have, yes, but which freedom you want? Uh, yeah yeah well it's time for uh, each and every person to decide what they're going to be and what it's going to be it's quite a a historical uh, pivot point you know it's a point at which even the smallest effort can make the difference between turning one direction or another every every struggle Every action counts now. Yes, it does. Yeah. I yes. let's see. I'm concerned in the United States. You know, like the students, you know, have been have been put down a great deal. They're planning some other activities, you know, but that, I haven't seen any reports about that. But I'm not really connected with the American society. Are they doing stuff like we used to do? You know, in the uh, Vietnam anti-war days, like teach-ins, you know. And stuff like that, or don't they think it's necessary? Well, you... well, um, my situation is a little different. I'm not on the campuses too much, but I do have contact with people on the campuses, and I don't know if the example I'm going to give you is a good example or not. If it's a good reflection of the con- the move of the country. But my contact is limited. There are people I know who um, are resistant to pressuring the courts to drop charges against them when they were demonstrating last year. They feel it's a badge of honor to have been arrested. Yet, we don't need those arrests on our records. America, the American system is very, is very punitive towards your con- your contact with the court system. The American system believes that if you have any contact with the court system, something must be wrong with you when that's not the case at all. Mm-hmm. So there has been some struggle with students at some major colleges, at, at a major college, I'll say this, to one, call for p- prosecution of pro-Israeli thugs would attack their demonstrations, and two, to call for dropping the charges against the demonstrators who are supporting Palestine. This is a situation I became aware of yesterday when talking to an activist. Again, I don't think that, that reflects the entire country. And by next time we have a show, I'm going to do a little more work to find out what's going on. I'm gonna make a few more phone calls, ask a few more people and give you a better report, okay? But I did reach out to one activist yesterday to find out this information. Um, I know that there's been repression throughout the country. There was a there was a YouTube 
seminar on this on Wednesday about the repression that the students are facing. So as I understand it, in many colleges, there are still hearings being held against the students by the school administrators to suspend them, to kick them out of school, et cetera, or have them pay fines for just participating, not for being violent, not for breaking windows, not for doing anything at all, just for participating. So there was a meeting online in the, in, uh, on, the, on the internet on Wednesday that discussed this matter. So clearly something is going on if a meeting was held online to discuss repression against Gaza demonstrations. So I think we'd have to take, take heed that there must be something happening on campus to prevent the demonstrations. Because the movement couldn't just have ended like that. The enthusiasm against Israeli oppression of the Palestinian is still there. They are a part, and we are part of the worldwide, the, we are part of the axis of resistance. We are part of that axis. But right now, it seems as though on the campuses, there is repression against the encampments and the, and the visual demonstrations. That's all I can say. Mm -hmm. The meeting knows makes me, and I will have more information for you, our listeners and viewers. Next, because I'm going to, I'm going into the investigation yesterday. Report on yesterday. Okay, uh, your connection yeah. is uh, is is I, is getting chopped. Think... Uh, okay, Dunya, um, is your connection good? Okay. Yes. Uh, yes. One minute. For, for me, I think we need a leader first, but not a leader for each city, a big leader. We need a leader. And if you, if we need to boycott, for example, to do some action, for example, if all people boycott the bank and take his money out, for example, hmm. some action like that. Mm -hmm. How they will stop people? How? If mm -hmm. we do that together at the same time, mm -hmm. it will be happen something. Mm -hmm. Sure. But we need to do some, you know, in the beginning, they do the strike, big strike. Mm -hmm. And all the Monday, we need to don't go to the shop to buy anything, to buy nothing, nothing. Mm -hmm. And Consumer one, strike. One, one, mm -hmm. Two time. And after finish but mm -hmm. we why finish well i think okay maybe we need a leader we need the unions maybe. what about the unions we you know why why aren't the unions you know supporting you know the the social movements you know the move the the unions you know they they only are caring they're economists uh, they only care about themselves they have to take on a political program, even though they're being led by communists and socialists. They're not taking on, a, you know, the the program of the social movements. So this is a failing. That's that's the problem with France. It's the unions. Yeah. Um, with within the U.S., um, I, I I know I know, excuse me. There was a an action I say in Greece. I want to say in Greece or Italy this week, where there were some unions refused to load the ships. With weapons mm -hmm. for Israel, um, I know that in the U.S. there has been struggle in the United Auto Workers Union and in the Longshore Worker, the uh, International Longshore Warehouseman Union, Local 10 in San Francisco, and Local 13 in Los Angeles. Local 10 has a history of struggle dating back to the Black Panther Party, but struggle comes and goes. So there has been some support for a ceasefire, you know, those those kind of things. American unions are pretty much not going to take it too far. They'll, they'll call for a ceasefire. Some of them might engage in boycotting, loading of cargo sometimes. But that's kind of where it is now. The, U the UAW, United Auto Workers, who builds, basically builds the, the, um, the cars, they have, they have taken a stance for a ceasefire, and they're moving in a direction to support an arms embargo. That's okay. what's happening right now. Okay. That's what I can say. Wow. 
Yeah, the unions could shut down the whole war industry. They sure could. Who are they unionized by? Who are the, you know, like Lockheed Martin and and uh, McDonald Douglas and union. all those? They, they're are they union? Union. They're probably not they, they unionized. They probably have an association, like an association yeah. of employees, but uh, I don't think UAW or any major U.S. union organizes the military industrial complex i don't think so but i could that's, be wrong then the, okay then i will that's, find out you know, like that's the problem that's what they should be doing you know they're unionizing them and then they can control you know what's to be done you know with uh with all that and to convert the industries as well if they don't want to convert you know to something that's useful then we should just socialize them take them over occupy them that's what needs to be done yeah, the problem in France is they are a lot in the propaganda. They are a lot in the divide. The government divide the Algerian, Moroccan. They divide the boss. They divide the Shiite, the Sunni. We need to fight all the time to remind the people that it's propaganda, but they don't believe. So if every people divide themselves, they fight together. They mm. forget that the enemies. Mm -hmm. is the Zionism and the imperialism. Mm -hmm. They want to take the struggle for themselves, for themselves. No, yeah. my king is not blah, blah, blah. They fight together. I, they make me paint in my head. Mm -hmm. I don't know what they have in their mind. And to break it, I say to them, but see, these people are not Muslim. They, when we go to the meeting, when I go to the because I move, I go to Grenoble, I go to the center of French when there is some meeting with the Palestinians, they come from Palestine. And when I am in this place, sometimes, a lot of time, I find a lot of white, white skin. It's not Arab there, mm -hmm. not Moroccan, not Algerian. So where they are? Why they fight for themselves? What they have to win to fight for his king? The king don't mm. do anything else for them. Mm. So, you know, there, they are a lot in the propaganda. And we have a lot of struggle here. It, for, they break my struggle. They break our struggle when they do this. Mm. And all the time I remind them, but who, who helped the Palestinian in the, in the, in the Middle in the Moyen-Orient, in Palestine? It's the Shiites. So you want to break the Shiite, and who will help the Palestinian after that? If you want to break the Shiite, you need to break Iran, Lebanon, Syrian. We need to break everyone, Yemen. And after, you will go to serve the Palestinian. Mm -hmm. So, and when I say that, they will shoot me, mm -hmm. me. Mm -hmm. But I am, I am not, I am for the people, popular resistance, popular movement, union. I am. Me when some when they speak about Macron, I feel not upset. Macron mm. is they don't represent me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I represent myself with my mind and my heart, mm -hmm. and I represent the first Palestinian. Mm -hmm. I don't know what I can do for that. What, what I don't know what I can do for that. And it's very bad because also they don't want to learn the story. So they fight for Gaza. But we need to fight for Gaza, for Jerusalem, for Cisjordanie. Yeah. Mm. If you ask all of them where is Jerusalem or where is Cisjordanie, because when they call it Cisjordanie, for them it's not Palestine, it's another country. You 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 know? Mm. It's yeah. uh, incredible. In France, it's very difficult, very difficult, believe me. Mm -hmm. Not for, not with all, all the people, but for those people. And if they be together, Algerian, Moroccan, all the people, if they be together, we will have this power. Yeah. But they divide themselves, crazy mm -hmm. people. Mm -hmm. They don't want to understand that we need to be in union first. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because when they do it, they give the power to the government. They mm -hmm. do what from the government. Mm -hmm. uh, 
Well, but here we are, and, and yes. we are doing something about it. We are each doing something about it. And uh, this is how we need to get organized. Uh, and, you know, people being isolated, you know, leaves them with no options, no alternatives. But when people come together in a council kind of a way, and then they share ideas, and all of a sudden, then there are options that develop. Because what is possible amongst a group of people is not possible by any, any individual person. So that's why we have to yes, get organized. Correct. Yeah. Correct. I agree. Okay. Very good. Okay. So on that note, we'll uh, we'll get together again next week and see you know what progress we've been able to make. I'm sure that we're in a state of making progress, but the question is: Is it uh, fast enough to save the Palestinians, and strong enough to save the Palestinians? We are missing major sort of you know elements of resistance and uh, support to defend the Palestinians. And now that cause has become yes. the cause of the Lebanese people as well. And the Lebanese people, you know, like of, uh, about a million and a half Palestinian refugees there as well. You know, the, when you talk about Lebanon, you're talking about Palestinians as well at the same time. Right. So, right. you know, and uh, and we're talking about their right of return, you know, because Lebanon, you know, wants to, you know, wants to stay Lebanon. And, uh, and uh, the Palestinians want to return, you know, to Palestine, you know, and... Uh, that is never talked about anymore, you know, it's sort of forgotten about. But it's actually the first issue, because there's not only a yes. million and a half Palestinians in Lebanon as refugees, there's two million Palestinian refugees in Jordan, another, what, half million in Syria. Whoa, you know, so the total comes to... So internationally yeah a total of 14 million people who are the palestinians not just you know the 7 million who are living under occupation no it's double that now what has to be kept in mind as well yes thank you okay in Germany also, there is uh, 80,000 80 percent 80 percent in Germany half palestinian yes uh-huh and in uh, gaza uh -huh. too 80% are, are refugees within Palestine, refugees. Yeah. Plus, yeah, yeah, the, the present absentees, you know, who, are, who had their land stolen, you know, who are in within the, within the 48 territories, like Mr. Jafar, who I interviewed in Jerusalem one time, and got kicked out of a house. And then he appealed, you know, that he wanted his original house back. And the Supreme Court said, no, that would contradict the, the nature of the state. And so he lost his house by clear judicial decision in the Supreme Court or the higher court of the call it. It's very corrupt, very corrupt, yeah. Okay, we'll do something about it this week and every week. Okay.